Hello friends, we all know cost of living is rising day by day. So maintaining a large family is very hard. Now how many large families are there in village Sundarpur? As you can see from this data, there are 1258 families with 3 children. 5693 families have 2 children and 721 families have one child only. Have you wondered how such huge data is collected and compiled? Aman is a small boy in the village Sundapur. He is submitting his household information like how many members are there, what is the total income of the family etc. to his class teacher. This way his class teacher will get the data of all the families in that class. Here is the data that shows the number of children in families in that particular class. The data in this form is called raw data. But what is its use? Now let's look at the frequency of the numbers. That is how many times a number is appearing in this data. That would tell us how many families have two children, how many families have three children and so on. So we can see two is appearing 12 times means 12 families have two children each. One is appearing eight times means eight families have a single child. So now the data seems to make sense. We can see family with two children is the most common. This table is called the frequency distribution table. You know our class teachers handles a lot of data like here are the scores obtained by students for a given test. We can make a table which tells us how many students got 35, how many students got 49 and so on. But that will be a long table as most of the scores don't repeat. So what do class teachers do in this case? They say how many students got scored between 0 to 30, how many scored between 0 to 40 and so on. To present such a large amount of data so that a reader can make sense of it easily, we condense it into groups like 0 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and so on. Now you must be wondering, hmm, I can see 30 in 0 to 30 as well as 30 to 40. What if someone gets 30 marks? Do they go in 0 to 30 group or 30 to 40 group? They will go in 30 to 40 group, the higher one. These groupings are called classes or class intervals and their size is called the class size or the class width like 10 for the class 30 to 40. In each of these classes the lesser number is called the lower class limit and the greater number is called the upper class limit. As for example in 40 to 50 class interval 40 is the lower class limit and 50 is the upper class limit. Now how many students got 40 to 50? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, tally marks is quite useful in counting here. How many students got 50 to 60? 4 students. How many students got 60 to 70? 3 students. And only 1 student got above 80. So to summarize, when amount of data is huge, we often condense the data into groups called classes. This is called grouped frequency distribution table. This way we can represent data in a way which makes more sense. How can we represent these classes using graph? We will discuss in our further lessons. Till then, bye bye.